So let's talk about selenium. It's a fascinating little mineral. It's a trace mineral, and it's involved in some unique things, okay? So selenium is a coenzyme. It's a helper enzyme in about 25 different proteins. It's a very powerful antioxidant that's involved in glutathione. Glutathione is like the master antioxidant that helps to counter oxidation. So if there's heavy metals or chemicals or too much sugar or glucose that's destroying the brain or the nervous system, as in diabetes, glutathione basically protects the tissues from that damage. And that's why it's really good for diabetics and it can improve insulin resistance. So you have less insulin resistance. Uh, also, it's good for the heart. If you're deficient in selenium, you have more problems with the heart. So it prevents oxidation. It also helps rid the hydrogen peroxide. So it's, it's good for vitiligo, for example, where you have the loss of pigment because of the bleaching effect that's occurring in that condition. So hydrogen peroxide is actually made uh, by your mitochondria as a byproduct. And one purpose of this is to kill microbes. So our body does make oxidants to help wipe out uh, things that are not friendly, but we also have antioxidants to counter those oxidants. Then we have the related function to the thyroid gland. Selenium is needed to convert T4, which is the inactive form of the thyroid hormone, to T3. And then also to reverse T3, which is another inactive form of the thyroid hormone. So it's intimately involved in the conversion to make the thyroid hormones work. Every single cell that the thyroid innervates, you have selenium that's involved. Uh, it's also involved in the detoxification of mercury. So people are concerned about consuming fish that's high in mercury. For example, like in salmon, but salmon also has selenium. And if you have enough selenium, you can make the enzymes to help detoxify or bind mercury and make it inactive. So it helps to protect you against the damage from mercury. It also can decrease the susceptibility to certain viruses. It can act as an anti-inflammatory. Most antioxidants are anti-inflammatory. It also can reduce the risk of getting infertility in men. And one more point about the thyroid is that when you have Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune condition relating to a hypothyroid condition, and you take selenium, uh, there's been some studies to show that you can decrease the antibodies to the thyroid by 21%, okay? So that's interesting. Where do you get selenium? Brazil nuts have the most. Fish and seafood, like in tuna, halibut, sardines, salmon, organ meats, meat in general, and eggs. It's in other foods as well, but these are the highest. Uh, the RDAs for um, selenium are 55 micrograms. You don't wanna go over 400 micrograms. That seems to be the high limit that it starts to become toxic. So a deficiency of selenium can create a lot of damage, and a toxicity of selenium could also create a lot of damage. So you just need the right amount. Thanks for watching. So if you want to get notified with all my content, click the notification bell next to subscribed.